Hello everybody and welcome to Farming Simulator 20. So yes, this is of course the mobile version of the, of the Farming Simulator games. Um, and it is the latest edition as well in the Farming Simulator series. So yeah, I'm going to try and stream this. It's going to be probably quite challenging. And this is also the first time I've ever done a live stream while taking a recording from an iPad. So <laughs> this is going to be quite something. Anyway, yeah, first of all, thank you to everybody. To, uh, for, for tuning in. I, I do appreciate the viewers. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start the career and as you can see I have nothing, absolutely nothing. We're not going to do the tutorial but we are going to obviously do the work which the tutorial would cover. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So I, I can see many questions saying how many episodes you're going to do. I have absolutely no idea. I'm thinking of probably streaming most of it. So, um, yes, hello everybody. Yeah, I can see the chat is uh, quite active. Hello everybody who is who is speaking there. I can see, yeah, there's some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a lot of uh, hellos there. And Virtual Farmer too. So, yeah, like I say, I'm absolutely rubbish. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm absolutely rubbish at mobile games. So, you're going to have to put up with me a bit here. Hi, hi Charlie, thank you for the uh, 79 uh, P Super Chat there. Much appreciated. Anyway, yes, here we go. So we have, we, we do have the Combine Harvester. Actually, we do start off with quite a few things. So, oh, also Beaver, Beaver 101. Thank you for that super chat as well. Uh, we also, we do have the case. I'm actually going to change some of these tractors very soon, I think. And we do have the Fent. So I think, well, the tutorial tends to um, get you to do a bit of harvesting first, but I think it's not really not really worth that. I think what I'd prefer to do is get this going straight away. So. We can choose different crop types, as you can see. We've got barley. Ah, Teddy, thank you for your super chat there as well. Barley, uh, oats, canola, soybeans, grass, and back to wheat again. So I think really, I'm thinking oats. I think that'd be quite interesting. So I'm going to put that on a worker straight away. Uh, Boulder Viking. Vidness, thank you to you as well. Yep, so for anybody wondering, this is on an iPad. I'm playing this on an iPad. We'll get this going as well. I will do some harvesting myself, hopefully. And let's just go back to this one. This one is this is a field um, which is just stubble. So again, I think we'll stick a worker on that too. Now, I just need a bit of input from everybody, a bit of help just basically saying a few different things. For example, um, the sound, is the sound balanced? Is it too loud? The combine especially. If I just go on here, is that too loud? I would like to uh, just try and perfect it a bit. Also, I've, I've just seen somebody saying the stream is lagging, but it doesn't seem to be lagging at my end, so that could just be me. So, Charlie, again, when's the next survival roleplay? Is tomorrow. It is indeed tomorrow. And Farmaholic, thank you to you as well. Right, so we have everybody going. Now, like I say, I want to make I want to I want to get this farm running as quickly as possible. So the faster we can get things done, the faster we're going to be able to get a new tractor and also more land. As you can see here, we actually do have how many fields do we own? Apparently the sound is good, so that's that's great to know. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um I think we have three. We actually do have field number one, two, and three to begin with, so that's pretty good having three from the start. And do bear in mind that this is actually running from an iPad to my PC. <coughs> Excuse me, it's very, very gruff tonight anyway. Uh, so there might be a little bit of quality uh, dropping uh, as it transfers, but it shouldn't be too bad. It should be pretty good. This is, from what I can see on the output, uh, it is the same sort of quality as what I'm actually seeing on the iPad, so I think really what you're seeing, providing you're watching in the highest quality possible, um, is is close to what it is. Now, of course, my bit rate is set lower, so it's never going to be what you, what I can actually see, but it, it is not going to be too bad at all. Right, so that is working well. That's working well, getting the oats in. It shouldn't take too long to get the oats in anyway. And um, yes, of course, the reason why I'm using workers quite a bit is because, like I say, I am absolutely awful 
at steering these things. Not to say that I'm not going to. I am going to. I think we could also do with a baler, actually. Hmm, if we could get a baler sorted out, I could actually get this bailed straight away. Uh, now, I need to go into the right place. I need to go into the store. Here we go. So, um... Balers. Let's go across. Bailing technology, there we go. So we have one baler, which I can't afford. But actually, when I have sold the first trailer load of wheat, I think it is, we will be able to afford it. The only thing which does concern me is you do have to pick the bells up, I believe, with an Argus in order stacker, and that is $70,000. Uh, so, that's going to be expensive. Yes, I might just have to hold off on the uh, the bailing for now. Is that, is, that, would, that would be almost that'd be like $175,000 just to get the bales done. Um, hmm. How interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, going back to the chat, I mustn't just keep speaking to myself. Are there horses in FS20? Uh, probably not. There. Yes, there are, actually. There, there are. There are horses. In fact, I can show you on here um, the horse paddock. You can see it, it's next to... I, I can't point. That's, a, that's an issue with uh, a mobile device. It is to the right hand side of the farm so to the east of the farm you can see there is a green icon and it says horse paddock so there you go that, that's where the horses are um right so let's just see what's going on here just still reading different messages is it worth the money i think it's only like 5.99 it's actually a very hard answer for me very hard question for me to answer um, because I never play mobile games and to be honest this game looks good to me but I don't know what mobile games are really I don't really know what sort of graphics they tend to be so unfortunately I can't really compare it to anything I can't tell you if this is good as a mobile game or bad as a mobile game it certainly seems to be good um, but of course if you are comparing it to uh, an, a PC version then obviously it's not as good as that but the fact that this could be played just on your phone, in public, anywhere, it's quite an interesting idea. So I think for 5 dollars it's worth a go. Man is full of DIY. I have tonsillitis, Dag, you have made my day. Tonsillitis is, is bad. Sorry, that's not the most reassuring thing for me to say, but yeah. Um, get well soon, that's for sure. It's going well. The oats are going in, and that must be quite full. It's about 40%. Um, so I think I'm going to have to prepare a trailer. This one is probably the first one. So if I just take that off, detach that. The farm is just over here. You are about to experience my uh, my driving. If I go steady, it should be okay. The money's rocketing down faster than ever, even though I did stop a worker, so I'm not too sure why it's going down quite so fast. Anyway. There we go. I will get back to the messages in a second. The chat. Don't know if this is the fastest route to the field. Probably not. Right. Uh, so basically from the... Uh, sound check I did. Everybody said it was fine except for the uh, combine. For some reason the combine is excessively loud but then again I suppose the combine is quite loud. But I think really it is overall quite well balanced so it's not too bad. Um, oh the helper, ah yes of course. Who was that that said that? The helper's buying seed. That was Cypher is it? Cypher thank you very much for that. Very good uh, educated comment. Of course, I didn't even think of the, uh, the seed. Right. I'm wondering if I should just get this unloaded now. At this stage, because I am just literally starting off, and I do prefer workers to do the drilling and stuff, there's not a massive amount for me to do. Because there's no way I'm going to do the drilling myself, because it would just look awful. Uh, I've missed tons of bits. Right, going alongside on mobile. <laughs> ah, there. 
it's not going to work for me. I'm going to have to back up. <laughs> Please do not turn around, Combine. No! Might have to wait for it to be full. It's determined to move. Oh, and it, it crashes into you too. There we go. Okay, good. While it's doing that, I can read this. Okay, Murphy Farm says, The stream is lagging for me, and I have bars, full bars, so the stream is a bit laggy. My output is showing is perfect, so if I could have some input from everybody else, that'd be great. Um, go to first person. That is a good idea. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a bush. But um, there you go, that's first person. Uh, the snake gamer says, "Fill up the trailer and store it for later." It, it is a it is a good idea, but I might need the money. We can see the current prices for wheat, uh, but I don't think you can order them. You can't order them for the best price. So you've got to look yourself. Seven three eight over at Grain Storage. Would that not be my own farm if it's called Grain Storage? I don't know. I uh, know everybody's responded and said the stream is not lagging. So. Okay, it, it would appear to be just a select few, which means that it can't be an issue at my end. Come on, worker, get going. I, I've driven into a, I've driven into a shed. There we go. Uh, yes, I think it would be worth selling it because um, the price is quite good. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting loads of people saying it's a good connection, so it's good. Um, right, Merry Christmas from David. Merry Christmas, David. Uh, it's only 20 days away, actually, until the day itself. Not long. It's funny, because um, some people won't even have their Christmas tree up yet, and they'll be thinking, oh, it's ages until Christmas. But actually, it is only 20 days until, until the 25th. So I think with 20 days to go, it's not a bad thing having the tree up. All right, let's just skip through again. That's still going. It's about halfway through. 40% through. Um, Skylight. I got an ad of FS20 when clicking on an FS... I didn't even know they were advertising, actually. That's interesting. Um, are the sheds in the game? Are there sheds in the game? There didn't actually seem to be. I think this is a good opportunity for me just to um, put this onto solid ground. What I did notice is I couldn't see any storage for machinery at this particular farm. So if I just go here, you can see this is all the cow area. It's like the cow pasture. Um, and then this is all fertilizer and seed. LCC, thank you for your super chat. In case I don't get the chance between now and then, happy Christmas to you, Dagwin. You too as well, LCC. Um, thank you for the super chat. I know you super chatted in the previous stream as well. So, uh, quite a regular. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, my point about the sheds, there doesn't seem to be anywhere for me to store the tractor. Unless I just haven't looked enough, but I, I can't see anywhere. Can't see anywhere. But then again, you could just keep it outside. So, hmm. Uh, can you expand fields? I haven't had a plough yet, so I don't know, but I don't think so. I'm just going to say I don't think so um, because I can't confirm that. Can you get FS20 on Android? Yes, you can get it on Android, uh, but of course, just you know, um, check to make sure that your your phone is compatible. Make sure it's the right age for it and all that, the right version. So that, yeah, I like that they auto connect. The trailer auto connects. I wouldn't like that in a PC version. But in a mobile version, where I'm just not very good at reversing, um, it is. I think that's very useful. It saves quite a bit of faffing around, especially for ones uh, with three-point linkages, so a plow, for example. Yeah, so that is ploughing on. <laughs> it's not ploughing on. That is harvesting on, and the drill is actually getting on very well as well. So... Um, yeah, I know it looks lazy. It does look very lazy for me just to be tabbing through the tractors, but they're just doing such a good job. I think I'll, I'll empty the combine, and then I will attempt to do some power harrowing. Also, out of interest, just so I know how popular these sort of videos are, 
Um, how many viewers are there on the stream? Because I was debating whether or not to do a Let's Play video or a Let's Play stream. And I thought that this is probably the, the sort of game which would be better interactive. So whilst I've got my viewers here. And obviously, yeah, things are really going to uh, get a bit more interesting once I've bought things. Uh, because I really need to get a uh, baler and stuff. Okay, so it sounds like there's about 450 viewers. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. I think um, ETS2 it tends to get between 500 and 1,000. And I haven't streamed FS19 for a while, but I think it usually gets around 1,000 viewers. So it's about half. But then again, it is a mobile game, and I don't, I don't usually play mobile games. So anyway, look at that. I'm unloading on the move. This is something. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do that. If we can get a full trailer, we can make some money. Uh, Michael says, get a big trailer. Looks like I could fit more barley in my mouth. No pressure there. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, well, this is what we're starting off with. I need to prioritise um, important things. Hopefully that's going to fill it. Well, it's full enough, isn't it? It's pretty good. Um, oh yeah, and also I should probably show you this is actually running on very high graphics, so this is the highest. But please do bear in mind my bit rate for uploading uh, the content is going to reduce the quality. So what you're seeing isn't what I'm seeing, but it's it's okay. Okay, so let's just double check that price. I, I think it was. Um, the price is decreasing, but it's still pretty good. Grain storage. So to get there, we have to go north, and then somehow... I think you can cut up the middle, but I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to uh, have a bit of a drive. See how it goes. You'd love to see a ETS2 role places, uh, Nolan. Uh, yeah, I, I debated it. I did think about it, and I came to the conclusion that because you can't get out of the cab, it would be very difficult, very very difficult to actually do that. Yeah, so I don't know if you can go up here. But I'm just going up here anyway. Of course, the track would be the road would be the best way to go. Uh, spin tires, yes, I am going to be doing a spin tires video very soon. Uh, for some reason, my outputs just stopped. I don't know why. Is the stream still working? <laughs> it's frozen for me. The gameplay hasn't. Maybe it's just me. The game is still working. But my output is frozen. So, once again, it has frozen, hasn't it? Okay. Um, right. In that case, I think all I can do is just try and restart that. So, uh, yeah, at least the microphone is still working. Okay, it does not seem to be responding for whatever reason. Uh, the game is working absolutely fine, so that is interesting. Um, hmm, I was about to say, I will just say this actually. Uh, spin tires, very soon, I don't know what the date is, but there is a Chernobyl uh, DLC which I really want to play, so I will be doing that very soon. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to try and figure this out. Hopefully, we don't have to end the stream early. I'm just going to go quiet for a few seconds as I try and figure it. Right, okay, so it is It is definitely frozen. 
I don't know, but I think it might have something to do with the minimap. Um, because every time I try and restart it, it always comes back to the minimap, which is weird. So, um, yeah, that that's that is that is a problem. And to be honest, I can't see why it would have just frozen. Very very strange. I have closed the game. I think I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, completely restart the system. So I'll st you can stick with me. <laughs> we we can go on the holding page here. And um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's going to be a case of saving the game, closing it down. Get everything restarted. Yeah, so there is a new Chernobyl um, DLC for spin tires, and I was fascinated by it the first time I saw it. I don't know what it's going to be like, but oh, it's still frozen. Ah, oh, that is that's a mystery. That is an absolute mystery. Well, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to get this back, but I don't. I really do not know what's going to happen. It seems that everything's frozen. I think it actually, I think it might be OBS because everything is trying to freeze. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's the software or the iPad. I think it's OBS for whatever reason. Which is a mystery. Right, so... I think I'm going to have to restart the stream. So... I hope to get it back. Uh, Galcom Games says it's not the game, it's the connection between the iPad and the PC. Funny thing is, though, I would think that as well, but the introduction thing's frozen too. And the fact that that's frozen is a mystery. And I can't restart OBS without ending the stream, so... Ah! <sighs> it was going so well. Anyway, um, I'm going to restart the stream. So it's all going to close down. There will probably be another stream opening. So... See you in a second, hopefully. I will be back anyway just to update you and if I can't get it back, but hopefully I can do. So, see you in a second. Right, I think we're back. Yeah, hopefully the same chat is working. I don't know if, it, I, don't know if I have to open a different chat. I've never actually properly uh, had a full-on crash before. It was OBS, though. It was OBS at fault. Anyway, this is the cell point. There we go. Right, so, that is selling. If it freezes again, then it's a mystery, but it was definitely OBS, so it wasn't the game, the, I was still playing absolutely fine, um, and it wasn't the connection, I don't think. For whatever reason, OBS just decided to freeze. <laughs> Technology. Uh, but that was four, did that say $4,000 for all that? Just $4,000? Did I sell it at the wrong place after all that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ah oh dear, it's a it's a challenge, but anyway, yeah, the game itself is absolutely fine. I'm I'm enjoying it. Obviously, it's not a PC version, but compared to previous versions, I I like it. I think um, if you're the sort of person who plays games on the go, uh, this is great. Now, obviously, I do have the privilege of playing on an iPad because you've got the bigger screen. Um, if you're on a mobile phone, obviously the screen is likely to be much smaller. The next thing will be it's going to go dark. 
So yeah, we got we got four and a half thousand dollars. Uh, Galcom Gamer says, uh, "Can you get OBS for iPad?" No, I don't think so. Uh, it's it is this is going through a capture card, and then it's being put onto my PC. Uh, that's where it's picking up the audio from too. Uh, I'm actually running this through my normal mic. I don't know where I'm going. My field is up here. And yes, it's definitely going dark. Get a bigger trailer, says Michael. Michael, <laughs> we don't need one. It would be good, but I just need to keep the money for other stuff. If it freezes again, then I know what to do, but I don't really want to keep opening different streams. I, I sort of wish you could uh, speed up time for night time. The plow, yeah, the plows. Let's just take a look at the plows. It's a good point. Do you get plows? Don't think you do. Get cultivators. Yeah, I don't think you get plows. Unless I have just gone completely blind, which I might have done. Let's just see here. I can't see plows. So. We have straw. I wish that you could lease. That is one thing which I do really wish. I wish that you could lease equipment because I have the straw here. And the only way that I can bail this and get it moved is by spending $175,000 to get the baler and the arc use in all stacker because there's no front load of work with the, uh, with the bales. So that's, um, you know, it, 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 it's a bit of a drawback because of the money that we have. I was just wondering if you could sell fields, because if, if you can sell fields, and I can sell one of these big ones, but I don't think you can do. Um, no, I don't think you can do. So really, I can afford a baler, but I can't afford anything else. I think I will. I'm going to get a baler. I will do, because otherwise I'm going to be sat here umming and ahhing, and there's not much else I can do. We'll have to wait until we've got some more money from the oats or something. So that we can get the eye... Oh my goodness. What are we... Uh, we, we are £2,000 off. <laughs> Forage wagon. Who said that? Richard. Very well done, Richard. Loading wagon. Richard, well done. That was a very, very good suggestion, actually. Let's just hope that there is quite a bit of money in the straw. Let's just take a look. Prices, straw. Uh, looks like there is no straw icon. Oh, please tell me you can sell it. Oh, no. Does that mean you can't sell the straw? Maybe it's only for uh, animals. I don't know. This has... Yeah, I, it's because I haven't actually played the game fully yet. Come on, let's get the tractor lights on. You can't sell straw, you can only use it. Okay. Thank you, uh, Jamie, for that. Yeah, I've increased the output so that what you're seeing is much brighter than what I can see. For me, it's actually totally dark, and I can't, I can't see where I'm going. Um, so... <laughs> I think I think there's something here for you. It's so obvious, but for me, yeah, I can barely see that. The tractor lights are automatic, so I'm looking forward to them being put on. Skylight. Apparently, you shouted me out. Um, possibly. There we go. Ah, oh, this. We've got the lights. We have the tractor lights. It doesn't make a massive difference. So really. Um, it looks like if you're wanting to do just arable, you should just plow the straw in. Because there's no real benefit if you can't sell it. Ah. Oh. On my iPad, it looked like that was a massive gap. <laughs> ah, this is amusing. This is a gap. Right, so if nothing else, what we are going to see here is how well things load. The, the loading wagon was 80,000. Quite pricey.
Right. Let's start this thing up. Ah, oh, yes, you get extra lights if you start it up. And you can do this, it, it would appear 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, hi, Dagwins, this is from Cargran. Um, does it have multiplayer? No, it, it doesn't have multiplayer. That is pretty smooth. That has worked well. What types of tractors are there? Uh, there's quite a few. I will show you in a second. So I think um, basically it is you get sort of two or three from each range. So you've got small tractors, medium tractors, and large tractors. What I do know is you do get the uh, the quad track. I'll just show you. Okay, right, so as you can see, we have a Valtra, a Fent, New Holland, uh, we've got Case, Steyr, Case again, JCB, John Deere, Deutzfahr, uh, John Deere again, and then we've got the track tractors, Fent and Challenger, Big Fent 1050, and a Quad Track 620. So quite a good range, really. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think the only thing, because I, I can be truthful now, I, I wasn't allowed to uh, say too much about the game before release, but honestly, I am disappointed that you can't sell the straw, unless you can do. Maybe I'm just wrong. Uh, maybe, maybe I've overlooked something. But if you can't do, then yes, I would be disappointed in, in the straw. Justin says, sell the straw at the BGA. So it, it's worth a go. It is worth a go. But it didn't have any prices for it on the price page, so it's sort of hinting that you can't sell it. I'm just thankful that the output is quite good, so what you're seeing is quite bright. Bushcrafting, can you do a quick shout out? Yeah, there's your, there's your shout out. Thanks for watching Bushcrafting, and your friend of course. Uh, Jared, my first time catching you doing a live stream. Thank you so much, Jared. Yes, it's, it's my first live stream um, of FS20 in the dark. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm just not very good at uh, steering on these games. So yeah, the steering for me is a bit of a learning curve. Somerset Gaming, thank you to you. Yeah, so we are going to take it over to the BJ just to see if you can sell it. But like I say, um, I'm not holding out too much hope. As for how many episodes I'm going to do, how many streams of FS20, I don't know. Uh, it could be one, it could be five. I have no idea. It just really depends on how many people want me to do it, because obviously if there's loads of people, I'll do it. If there's not many people, then I won't do it. It is really as simple as that. I'm sure you won't want to see me just missing loads of straw, but please do remember that this isn't like driving with the steering wheel. I'm driving it with my thumb. <laughs> on a slider. But to be fair, I think really, despite me driving it with my thumb, it is still fairly smooth. And yes, you can do it with tilt steering. You can tilt steer. Right, so we're getting quite full. And if nothing else, this is quite a good idea, um, this stream, to just sort of show you what the game is like with somebody who is useless at mobile games. So really, it's better than what you see. Because you can't be worse than me at driving on a mobile game if you play a lot of mobile games. Obviously if you don't play any, then <laughs> you're probably the same, but um, yeah, if you play a lot of mobile games, this is for you.
Right, we are almost full. The worker has finished, I know, but um, just focusing on this currently. I'm seeing mixed reactions to the straw selling. Uh, some people saying BGA, some people saying livestock market. And obviously others are saying you can't. I'm going to go with you can't for now just because of the prices page, but I'm not going to give up hope yet. Right, okay, so there we go. Um, that is done. Let's just take a look at this. Thank you, uh, Beastie Boy 539, for your super chat. Thank you so much. Um, Biogas, that is the obvious place to me. I think if, if anyone's going to take it, it is Biogas. Or a barn. A barn would take it too. I just drove straight into a tree. Dagoin, you can play it with a keyboard. I'm on iPad, uh, but yeah, you probably could get a Bluetooth keyboard or something. You can get a Bluetooth controller, I think. So, yes, the goal for the rest of the stream is basically to see if you can sell it. Um, Andy says you can leave straw at the BGA and in return you get free manure, not money. Okay, well at least there's something. If that is if that is uh, the case, then um, I've got it switched on. There we go. I was picking up all the gravel. The BGA turning is somewhere around here. Ah <laughs> oh dear, it is. I think access through. Yeah, the road behind. Jared again. Um, and crunch. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Carson, bye, Dagwin. Hope you have uh, a great rest of the stream. Thank you, uh, Carson. I'm sure I will. Which is establishing what we can do with the straw. Oops. Ah, ah. I've just crashed in a good place, though. Hillside horses. The place you can get horses. No, I'm actually jammed. Could this get any worse? Good. Okay, this is it. Whoa! It's like I'm attracted to poles. The BGA, the place we've been looking for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just saw somebody saying something about the straw. Where are you taking the straw? I'm taking it to the BGA. Um, I have no idea if this is the place. Apparently you can get it changed over for manure or something. So we'll see. <laughs> straw is not accepted here. Yeah, so I think... I think I think you can't you can't do anything with it. Pretty sure you can't. Cause there's nothing. There's no price. Right, you got your crop types here. You got milk, wool, cotton, sugar beets, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, canola, oats, barley and wheat, and no straw. So yeah. It would appear there is no straw. Anyway, with that all done, uh, we do now have straw for when we have animals. Uh, this crop is growing. Should still be working. Get working. There we go. First person view. Yeah, just in saying check the livestock sell points. Uh, I could do, but honestly, I think because because there's nothing showing on the prices page, I don't think you can. Because if, if you could sell it, there would be a price for it. Anyway, let's just get this finished off. 
What cars? The cars you can get, you got one car. There you go, Lizard Pickup. Just there. It's quite expensive too, $45,000. At least it's getting light. But this is a great opportunity to appreciate the lighting. And I think, I really do think that the game itself, for a mobile game, looks really good. The fact that this is mobile is outstanding, really. So, if you could just, you know, sell the straw, <laughs> sell the straw, it would all be good. But no, that is just a really minor technicality. It's just when you get given the straw, it's good to be able to make a bit of money off it. Unknown says, hi there, Win. Are you feeling okay now after you are sick? Yes, I am uh, completely better now. Thank you very much, Unknown. Um, yeah, that was a while ago. It was uh, beginning of 1st of November, I think. 1st of November? Yes, that, that was that was some time ago. But I was, I was ill for about three weeks. I was still recording videos for about two weeks after I was actually really badly ill. Scott says, quite likely you can actually sell it to the animals. Yeah, there might be something. I, I, I don't know. Um, I think the straw does have a use and I think it does have a benefit. It's just I don't think you can pick it up and just take it over to any, any sort of sell point. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to find out later. The oats are still going in. What are your plans for Survival Roleplay this weekend? Ah, well, I mustn't give anything away. But yeah, there is going to be an episode every day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They are the Survival Roleplay days. So I think, um, because we are getting close to the end, I would just like to hear a bit of input from everybody about future streams or videos of FS20. What would you like? Would you like more streams? Would you like uh, videos instead? Or nothing? Let me know. Uh, no, you can't get out of tractors. You, you can't walk around. There's no person. There's no farmer. You have to stick with the tractor. My money is plummeting. Uh, more streams, says Barney. There is a bit of a delay on the chat, so I have to wait about 30 seconds to see what you say. Uh, what lorries are there? Quickly before... Trucks, there you go. You have the European one and the American style. James, there's your shout-out. There you go, James. Yeah, the chat's not too busy today. Um... Do videos and streams, says Logan. Ryan says both. Um, Corey, will you do a series of FS20? I wish you, a, ADS says, I wish you could turn off the helper buying seed. Yeah. Uh, more streams, says Evan. Farmer Dan White, he says, somebody must be bored. I have no idea what you mean. Live stream. I'm, I'm basically hearing a lot of live streams as the overall thing, but both. Quite a lot of people saying both. Right, well, I'm hoping the combine is done. There we go, look. All finished. So, we do have some more crops to sell. Obviously, the price was fairly bad before. We made about four and a half thousand pounds. Um, but yeah, we're going to put it up here and then we will bring the stream to a close. I don't know why it crashed halfway through, but anyway, uh, it is back. So an icon there. I think, yeah, it is. You, you just give the straw to the animals. It might be that if you unload into the animal area, you get a bit of money. I really don't know.
But there we go, we are back. The combine has parked up. And, um, yeah, that's there, that's there, that's all working good. Right, I've just got a few more uh, things to read out. Jake says, I gave you a super chat the other day, <clears throat> and you missed it. You missed your turning, and you missed your turning. Yes. Um, well, if you did, Jake, thank you so much to you. Um, I don't tend to miss them, but yeah, there's always a chance. If I'm, you know, focusing on something else, I could have missed something. So if you did do, I do apologize, I do apologize Jake, and uh, thank you for your super chat. If you do a Christmas special, will you do behind the scenes of Survivor Roleplay? Not yet. No, while I'm still doing the series, I can't really do behind the scenes. Uh, evening, Gav, just as I'm finishing. Um, Cargrants has been enjoying your multiplayer server, Dagwin. Yeah, it is. It's still 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So if you want to be on my FS19 server, the details are on the Discord server. Take the straw to the livestock market. I've heard that a few times now, so maybe, maybe that is what you do with it. No, I don't play any sport. Anyway, yep. That's almost finished. The oats are almost in. It could have gone worse. Um, but uh, definitely an interesting game. For a mobile game, this is quite something. So thank you so much for watching. There is just something from Jake there. Sorry, I mean, you missed your turning on ETS2 because you read my super chat. I see. <laughs> I remember. I do remember. Um... Yes, because I said it's not your fault. Thanks again anyway. So yeah, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the issues that we've had tonight. But uh, hopefully next time it'll be a bit better. See you again soon. Bye for now.